Capitol Watch, the Prisoner Review Board under fire in recent days. Two candidates to be on the board have been rejected by the Illinois Senate, leading to concerns about whether there will be enough members to hold certain hearings. Now, the panel determines if prisoners can be released and when offenders are back in state custody, then the board must decide if they violated their parole. If the decision takes too long, well, the prisoner is automatically released. As News Channel 20's Jordan Elder reports, while some say it's politics, others say it's stalling the justice system. The Prisoner Review Board has a lot of jobs, but one of the panel's key functions is determining if the prisoners who come before them need to serve their entire sentence. Because of recent resignations and rejections, some lawmakers are concerned that they may not be able to do that. Advocates for people in custody say the Illinois Prisoner Review Board is a key part of our justice system. They consider people's requests to be discharged from their prison sentences early, whether it's because their prison sentences were unjust or really excessive. But their work could soon come to a halt. The PRB is made up of 15 members appointed by the governor, confirmed by the Senate. Right now, only six slots are filled and three of them are still awaiting confirmation. A minimum of nine members are needed for certain hearings. And if that number isn't met, the people they're set to evaluate for violating parole or other orders are automatically released. So why can't the state fill the slots? The governor says it's politics. To attract new people to do that job when the Republicans have highly politicized this thing makes it much more difficult. Pritzker has been nominating people to this board for years now, but the Senate is just now taking up some of their appointments. Republicans led the charge to reject one of the nominees Monday, listing out times where the candidate voted to release people convicted of killing police officers. Some Democrats voted no as well. The Senate rejects the nomination. Of course we're going to bring up the original crimes because that's what they were sentenced on. That's why they've been in the Department of Corrections for decades. Would you say that the Republican side is being political with it too? Nope, we haven't been political at all. We've been sticking up for the victims and uh, people that are scared of violent crime right now in this state. We've been sticking up for them. Jennifer Sobel with the Illinois Prison Project agrees there are politics at play here and says it's important for those spots to be filled in order to keep up with the thousands of hearings held each year. Without a functioning prisoner review board, there simply isn't capacity to review those requests, make recommendations, and that sucks really valuable resources out of our communities and back into the prison system. And as for what's next, the governor can continue to appoint people to this board and start their confirmation process. Advocates are urging lawmakers to look at the candidate's whole body of work and not just individual votes that they've made. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Jordan Elder. Back to you in studio. Thanks, Jordan. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to speak to people who have gone before the board and have been granted clemency. Their message to lawmakers about its purpose, that's Wednesday on News Channel 20 at 6. Well,